Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh and your boy Matt. We're here in the middle of Hollywood at a undisclosed location. We're about to head to Runyon Canyon and do our latest tutorial. So if you've watched the channel before, you would know that Matt Alonzo is a world-renowned music video director. In this tutorial, he's gonna tackle a really cool double exposure effect. All right, we got uh, Matt filming with this crazy, uh, dope fifty dollars. Crazy. Lens. Our Uber couldn't find us at the top of Running Canyon, so uh, we're actually gonna just walk back. We should like 30, 30 minutes, thirty minutes, and like I don't know, five cancellation fees. All right, guys, uh, we're here with director Matt Alonzo. He's going to show us a dope trick in Premiere, kind of like a double exposure trick, he's calling it. Um, yeah, I can go straight in. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think all together, this will be like a 20 to 30 minutes, including shooting. Dope, dope. Yeah, we shot about 15 minutes, right? Both both things collectively, I mean, the walk and the hike. Uh -huh, this is kind of a two-part type of thing, you'll see. Yep. So what we did is we went to Running Canyon, we shot some stuff, um, you know, kind of you just uh, hanging out with the clouds in the background. So to start us off, we're gonna have track one, which is gonna be a shot that we um, took on our nice trip to Runyon Canyon. And on top of that, we're gonna go ahead and click this little toggle track, and we're gonna have the shot that we filmed after that, which is the silhouette against the oh, just the white wall here at uh, my place. Mm -hmm. And instead of you know having one on top of the other, we're gonna actually want to put it up a few. We're gonna go up to, we're gonna go up to eight. Oh, okay. We're gonna go up to eight. This is gonna kind of be like a sandwich, and this is gonna be our top layer. And we might put some things on top. So, okay, that's what we're gonna do there. Um, first thing I like to do with this clip here is we're gonna go into Lumetri. We're gonna go to Basic Correction. Okay. And what we want to do is, if you notice, the whites are not completely even, and we really just want to raise them up as as much as possible, because we're gonna end up um, using. To lighten, so we're gonna raise those highlights up. Raise yeah, the raise the highlights up. up, and then we want to darken the blacks because we, we're gonna we're gonna put something inside of the black. Okay. And we really want that to uh, you know give us as much room as possible. So that looks pretty good there. Yep, looks pretty good there. Super simple. Um, also, what we want to do since it's it's relatively small in the frame, we're gonna have a lot of white. We're gonna want to just uh, zoom this up a little bit. Digital zoom, I know it's a little frightening for some people, but you'll see in a second, it does not hurt the soul as much as you think. Cool. So this is just the basic, um, the basic version of it. We're gonna go into blend modes and we're gonna choose lighten. And that's actually gonna, Ooh. you know, really quickly, just gonna give us that. You can see both clips kind of now. So what okay. we want to do is go into effects. We're gonna go warp stabilizer. We're gonna put this onto the, uh, to the top. So we're just gonna try to stabilize that top layer just a little bit. Nice. There we go. And one thing I like to do here is just this is just for my personal, um, you know, my personal preference, just to kind of clean my timeline up. Is just go ahead and nest that one, just so that. I don't play with the warp stabilizer. So one thing I like to do is just nest it and it's gonna it's gonna delete your um, your blend mode. So you just come back in here and just hit lighten again. Okay, okay, cool. But now we have a clean thing. Now we have a clean clip. We don't necessarily have all the different effects to maybe uh, accidentally hit or something. Perfect. So let's step it up a notch. What okay. we wanna do is press uh, Alt Option, click on the clip, and we're gonna go ahead and just go up a notch. Okay. And what I like to do is deselect this stuff here. So I can see my clip. Um, we're gonna go to opacity, go to the free draw, and we just want to kind of go around your face a little bit. And this is just gonna kind of uh, this is gonna kind of keep your some of your features okay. um, on your actual face. And then we're just gonna do that a little bit, and we're just gonna feather it. And then we're gonna go ahead and toggle the track back. Okay. Toggle our bottom track back. Uh huh. Oh, this one didn't show as much. So what it is oh. is that if you get too too wide of a clip underneath here, is it does it lighten on the top clip? Should the lighten be off? It's a little top clip. Maybe. Mm, that's a little too much. No. Mm -hmm. Mm 
maybe like change the opacity maybe yeah like that yeah that's dope so the top one we want to change the blend mode back to normal okay Ap either after or before we um cut out that little sliver of your face there uh -huh. and then kind of blend that in there cool and that's just going to give us a little bit more of of your features there okay cool so now let's try what if we don't want to have a double shot of you in there right hmm. let's let's try a couple other things so what i did here on the, the timeline is i pre-selected a few random um, visual effects that i had everything from tv you know snow to um you know some thunder and stuff like that lightning Ooh. Um, so anything that you're going to pick that has black and white used together is really going to give you a really cool look. Okay. Um, because it's going to be taking out, you know, you're taking out the white and you're really only going to expose what's in the black. Okay. And you want to take this into the lumetry as well and you really want to push the, once again, you always want to kind of just do the, the same as far as pushing your whites and um, crushing your blacks. And you just got the, this is just random stock footage. Right? Yeah, this is just random stock footage. This is like a, a, a I think a, a, some smoke or liquid something, ink, but kind of gives us like a three D. Let me kind of run this back at full, maybe, so we can kind of see some stuff. Sick. Yeah, some ink. That's and then dope. if you want to play with like, depending on how you want to put it, right? Okay. If you want it to kind of trail from your face, we put it like this, and it kind of comes out of your face, you know? Wow. Okay. And these are, I mean, this is really something that you can kind of play with and take it, you know, take it to the next level based on kind of what you want. Um, wow. You know, and this is something also, too, that you might want to say we have the, the clip that we had from before at Runyon. We put that underneath. We grab the snow and maybe we do like a difference or something. Oh, and wow. It just kind of, just to kind of, clips. yeah, just to kind of play something cool. This is kind of what I did with the Demerick video is I had multiple layers uh, inside the actual um, silhouette. Okay. But we'll take that one off and we'll take this guy off. Okay. Sorry, I deselected that, everyone. Mm -hmm. If you would like to know what deselect is. <laughs> uh, this is just going to be some. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Yeah, and what we'll do to make it a little sexier is I'll just go ahead and put one of my LUTs on to give us a little bit more. If you want this LUT pack, maybe Josh and I will make that for you if we get enough requests. What do you think, Josh? Yeah. And that you know, just, hey. just I just want to show you some options, and you see how that if we take if we take off the little um, part that we masked up your face, uh -huh. you know, it definitely really gives you a little bit more features there in the front. And we actually kind of did a nice job lighting, and you did a wonderful job modeling. Hey, yeah, yeah. You know. All right, so then we try that guy. Let's just see what else we got here. Uh, this is some um, some thunder and lightning. Dang, that's sick. Yeah. So, wow. and this, this is, like I said, and then you can kind of, if you, you know, you want to get funky you do the snow again and, um, drop it underneath the snow so that you have the, you know, invert and, you know, you can kind of just play. It's a little off, but it's something that, um, Mix can, and match. Yeah. You can keep on going. Um, here's another one that has the, um, you know, it plays on white and black. It's just some stock footage uh, of some digital fluid, liquid. I'm not exactly quite sure, but, uh, you know, I spent a good amount of time while I was editing the Demerick video just finding stuff like this to play with. Wow. And, That's um, really, really dope. And then if we go inside here, like, they can give us different options and, you know super crazy sick and it's super easy you know we're not doing too much here um so let's 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 see which one do we like the which one did you like the best because that's kind of one i like the thunder thunder okay yeah cool. so we'll do the thunder guy and then another thing to kind of add on top of that okay um i have some 35 millimeter film grain you can use 16 whatever you Ooh. you want just kind of give it another layer nice it kind of shows up a tad yeah i see it um and then i have adjustment layer here Okay. Put that over the top. Okay, it's an empty adjustment layer. Yeah, just an empty adjustment layer. And what I like to do is go to the the vignette and kind of play with this. Just kind of give us a little bit of um, almost vignette. kind of a in uh, Lumetri color. Yeah, Lumetri nice. color. Okay, yep. it's kind of almost like a gives us like another dimension there, and then the film grain shows up pretty nicely with that. Um, it kind of gives it a little bit more volume, I guess. Uh huh. You know, you could you would say, and uh, 
we can get a playback. Got a left from here. Wow. Wow. Compared to that, so. Matt, that's incredible, man. Thanks. Dope. Yeah. Hope you, you know, like this is something, like I said, it's, it's a relatively simple um, tutorial, but it's something that creatives can just take to the next level. And I can't wait to see what people create and send to us so that we can, we can yeah. check them out, right? Definitely, definitely. Tag Matt, at Matt Alonzo, Instagram. Tag Josh. At Made by Olga Fibbers. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Thank you, Matt, again, for showing his showing us his ingenious skills Ooh, in the two, world of post-production. Two minutes until midnight. Two minutes till midnight. We've been here for, yeah. Dedication for you guys. Where the drugs at, where the fucks at, where the loves at, who the tight end, who the quarterback, I touch down, you run it back, see the scoreboard, I'm on tour, I got more whores on all fours, and you niggas throwing out a hundred racks. I've been dreaming so long. All right, guys, before we go, I want to tell you guys I shot my first music video coming back to the States just last week, and I was able to use the incredible Matt Alonzo treatment pack. Film treatments are an important aspect of communicating your vision to your crew and your client. The treatment templates in this pack easily cut my creation time in half. You should check them out. Thank you so much, guys, for watching, and as always, keep it chill. Keep it chill.